we're going to be opening up immediately here uh, with this composition that actually uh, netted them a lot of wins last week. Yeah, and it looks like both of these teams are trying to counter the enemy team's uh, cleave setups. We've seen the Windwalker Mage be very durable against the melee cleave setup, so I think that's what both teams are kind of going for. And for Plot Twist, winning this series is just so important for them. They still have not secured their spot to the Spring Finals for Wildcard Gaming. They're just trying to keep up the momentum, keep securing as many points as possible, and they're going to be looking to deny Plot Twist advancement. Interesting matchup between Plot Twist and Wildcard Gaming, an unexpected one. So far, cooldowns definitely in favor of Wildcard Gaming, unless they can force an Ice Block from Morrow in this push, not able to find enough damage to do so. Now, with no Gladiator's Medallion on Numbless, he's exposed to crowd control. Finally, burst though on Morrow. If they can get an Ice Block, they can tie the game back up. Counterspell onto Looney, well-timed by Yes Dave. This could be an opportunity as they try to push Morrow over. Not enough damage to do so. Morrow now chucking down the Frozen Orb, looking to counter attack as Numbless is locked down in crowd control. Likely, Yes Dave to be the target. Temporal Shield right before some big hits come in, and he should be able to recover. This well-timed Temporal soaks up all that damage while Numbliz is still crowd-controlled, unless they can keep it going a bit longer. Another Cyclone. They need to find just a bit more. They get the third. They need a stun. I don't think they have a stun available. Numbliz out of crowd control, able to avoid interrupts as well and stabilize the team. No Ice Block Force from either side. Looney falling behind on mana, potentially needing to look for a drink here here shortly that could be a win condition for plot twist if they can deny the drinks yeah, definitely I, I have to favor looney in this matchup over numbers i feel like the misweaver monk is just so susceptible to the crowd control of the frost mage and the restoration druid that eventually numbers is going to get caught in an extended crowd control chain and that's just going to be lights out for yes dave yes dave looking to de deny the kill with the temporal shield should be bouncing him up to oh, oh. actually not doing much Temporal Shield, not enough. Ice Block forced out onto Yes Dave, off the back of that Cyclone onto Numbliz, and this is what I'm talking about. Mr. Weaver Monk is just so susceptible to crowd control. Luckily, Numbliz sneaks in the Life Cocoon to keep Yes Dave alive. We talk about teams' improvements over the years, and one thing we would credit Looney for in history was his defensive play. He's been one of the most unbreakable healers in terms of defensive management, but now in this match in particular, he's able to spotlight his crowd control and aggressive plays as well with the team. Building a lot of momentum and netting a kill Whoa. almost early on against Plot Twist. Looney now being pressured as Rezus and Numbless are trying to gun him down, pressure him away. Potentially an opportunity for Plot Twist to find a kill. Looney respects the damage. Damage. Trades out the Gladiator's Medallion, but a bit of an overlap in there. Looking to go potentially all in. Looney escapes out of line of sight. Rezu's caught in crowd control, but still gunning it after him, trying to maybe deny some Cyclones. They know that Looney's running Balance Affinity, so he does not have access to the Frenzied Regeneration that Guardian Affinity would provide. He is a liability as whoa, because whoa, of whoa, that. Whoa, whoa. Rezu's looking for a solo kill around the corner on Looney in game one. Ironbark denies it for now. Looney able to stabilize. Still close calls. Plot Twist trying to stay in it, but with no Ice Blocks remaining, it's going to be so difficult. Yeah, Life Cocoon traded out from Numbliz, the last line of defense to keep Yes Dave alive. No Ice Block for another four minutes. There's a huge window of opportunity here from Wildcard Gaming. Bash, full Polymorph secured on Numbliz. Yes Dave has to stay alive. And with Rezus chasing down Looney, there's not much backup coming from him. Yes Dave all alone in this situation where he needs to keep himself alive. Looking for an Ebon Bolt, trying to get some counter pressure here on the Looney, force him to back off and allow Numbliz a little bit of breathing room. The next crowd control to Numbliz is going to close the game out for Wildcard gaming he's caught in a cyclone they need a polymorph yes dave is being pressured as blizzo is trying to end the fight no polymorph just yet from morrow no attempt either looney kites numbless out into midfield that sets up morrow very well to get a polymorph they get the polymorph yes dave has nothing left and is likely to fall if they can keep the chain going they deny the polymorph but looney gets the clone and with that cyclone secured yes dave falls wildcard gaming continue to assert domination in the european region relatively even matchup i'd say yeah wildcard gaming are strategists as well they've got all three styles under their belt and they know when to pull them out plot twist picked a small map which would benefit a melee cleave archetype and wildcard gaming say okay you're going to give us Dalaran and sewers our cleave is better than yours we're going to be locking that in right away blind we can deal with your mage composition on this close quartered battlefield and i i like the confidence coming from wildcard gaming here in game number two yeah yes they're pulling the trigger on that icy veins almost immediately looking for crowd control on looney unfortunately not able to find it or it might have broke 
broken. So yes, they're really not getting too much done with that major offensive cooldown. Now into a leg sweep, Trinket's out, out of line of sight. Numla is keeping him alive with the soothing miss for now, but getting that uh, Gladiator's medallion out of the way. The next time, yes, Dave gets caught into a full stun. That's a huge window of opportunity for wild card game. Ooh, it's a burst off rolling. Beautiful ring of peace, knocking two members down. Numless tries to reposition and gets clotheslined by crowd control. No follow up just yet, but touch of death is ticking. Blizzard's looking to get an ice block early on. Numless denies with that life cocoon. Still could crush through it. They managed to break the shield at least. Rezu's trying to force Blizzo back. They forced a lot of defensive cooldowns from Blizzo early on. He may need to be careful moving forward. If he's caught overextended, he could go down. Looney in a position to heal him, trying to deal with a counter spell. Able to land it, well timed by Yes Dave. An opportunity for the team of Plot Twist to try and get some burst out, but there's just no damage. Now Numless locked in crowd control off the back of Zipai's Dark Simulacrum, potentially setting up a chain to force an ice block. No more crowd control available, just damage. Yes Dave still low on health. Mind freeze secured by Zipai. This is likely to be the first ice block. Double leg sweep stalls it out just long enough for Yes Dave to escape. Close call, but Plot Twist hold on to that vital defensive cooldown. Yep, Zipai getting low. Big pressure here for Plot Twist. Nicely done. Anti Magic Shield should be able to trade out and keep him alive. Yes, Dave still just kiting out a line of sight. You can see, yes, Dave, he's constantly trying to drag Zipai and uh, Blizzo out of the line of sight of Looney, making it difficult for him to actually land the heal. Looney in a good position now. Pops that Thunder Focus T, gets some significant healing off onto his team. And at this point in the game, I saw Rezus, he actually has dropped his Transcendence on top of Blizzo. So Blizzo ends up portaling away. Then you can see Rezus chase him down quite easily. They can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that defensive cooldown, and Rezus can use it offensively to keep up the pressure on the Blizzo. We saw another counter spell on Looney. That netted the team of Plot Twist, Blizzo's Touch of Karma, an important ability for Blizzo to stay alive in the fight. Yes, they is the one who has to carry the game, but on this map, it's so difficult to do so. Bouncing both between trying to avoid damage and getting crowd control on the enemy healer is a difficult task. Currently just trying to avoid damage at the moment, but two members are low. Rezus could get swapped to with no Gladiator's Medallion. Numbliz needs to be ready for that, managing to stabilize at this point, but the expense of quite a lot of mana. Blizzo finally getting pressured down. Very curious to see. It does appear that Looney was able to fake cast the counter spell. Now activating that wave of the crane. Looney leading the charge for his team to take down Yes Dave in game number two. Gets stalled out a bit longer, but that touch of death is about to go off. Life Cocoon soaks the hit. Yes Dave desperately trying to escape. Looney still on his tail. Blizzo unable to connect. Rezus keeping him away for now. Force use Fist of Fury onto him to just try and stall it out. Yes Dave manages to recover. Now Numbless with wave of the crane. He's trying to get something going for his team, but now caught into a leg sweep. Looks like they may even swap to him. Blizzo just chopping up Numbliz a little bit. Numbliz repositioning. Not going to be staying overextended for too long. Mana still in favor of Wildcard Gaming. Yes, Dave still with two ice blocks. It's still too close to call. Yeah, Rezus opting to use that Ride the Wind talent. Yes, Dave really hasn't been able to get much value out of it just yet. Really want to see him use that in conjunction with Rezus, buy him a little bit of time to kite away from these pesky melee of Blizzo and Zipai. A very powerful tool. When he uses his Flying Serpent Kick, he drops a little cloud on the ground, and that basically suppresses movement impairing effects and allows Yes Dave to escape. Now caught into a stun, getting bursted down. Um, Liz has the Life Cocoon, has backup if he really needs it. Ring of Peace being dropped out. Rezus and Blizzo, or sorry, Rezus and Yes Dave caught into a leg sweep. Decent pressure here, good backup from Looney. Looks like for now, Wildcard Gaming is going to completely stabilize. If we look at mana, I'm not sure if Luna was able to sneak away for a drink, but yeah, he, he does was. have a significant Ooh. mana lead over Numbliz. I think Zipai steals a Polymorph. Numbliz, though, is drinking to full mana. No, now caught into a Polymorph. Unfortunately, on Diminishing Return, Zipai just using it to deny the drink, but it may have been more worthwhile to wait for that Diminishing Return. Double leg sweep secured by Blizzo. Well timed. That's leading the charge for Zipai to try and burst down. Yes, Dave. Kill gets denied once again by Life Cocoon. They could switch to Rezus and try and more, pull more defense. We see Numbliz roll in, landing a triple stun on the way of the crane. Good timing on Numbliz's part, but now with no crowd control off of it, Looney's going to have free reign with this way of the crane. Really doing a ton of damage, but yes, Dave with a perfectly timed temporal shield bounces himself back into the fight. Great recovery on both sides, and even though Wildcard Gaming are one of the most dominant teams in the region, Latus are really bringing it to him. Yep, Blizzo porting away as Looney's caught into a polymorph. Rezu's chasing him down. Blizzo doing an excellent job kiting using his Transcendence to get away. As soon as Rezus gets there, he gets back on top of Yes Dave, but Blizzo could still be uh -oh. in some trouble. No defensive cooldowns really left. Looney has to start connecting some heals. Thunder Focus T will allow him to get the cast off that he needs. 
and Blizzard will bounce back to full uh, hit points. Levi still having that anti-magic zone. They can always rely on that if they really need to, but we have to make sure Blizzo is always having his Transcendence Portal in an ideal position. So, when he gets caught into crowd control chains, he can escape and keep himself alive. Blizzo survives for now. Double leg sweep secured onto Numbliz, and yes, Dave, well placed. Looney looks like he's trying to sit down for a drink. They should be able to deny that more than easily in this position. Blizzo gets Ring of Peace away, as it looked like he wanted to actually go after Numbliz. Numbliz now gets crowd controlled by Looney. Rezzes gets caught into a stun and bursted. One second away, Touch of Karma available. Makes the exchange to stay in the fight, but now a counterspell secured. Once again, Yes Dave putting the team on his back, trying to end the match. These counterspells are pivotal to his team's victory, and he's landed three at critical moments, almost netting a kill there. Very close call for Blizzo. That Blizzo will survive, but a double leg sweep. Blizzo not out of it yet. Forced to trade out the Touch of Karma. Way of the Crane gets used by Looney. What's he gonna get done? Do they have the damage? They need to start getting some Ice Blocks from Yes Dave or change up their targeting. It looks like they're gonna be going after Rezus, but I think Numbliz should be able to easily keep him alive, and if you don't attack Yes Dave, that's, allow that's allowing him to get up much more polymorphs, much more crowd control, as well as more damage by spamming out those Frost Bolts. So Rezus might be a more vulnerable target at this particular point in the game, but it's very dangerous just to leave that Frost Mage alone. Yeah, Numbliz in crowd control first. Wildcard Gaming looking to take down Rezus. How's he going to deal with it? The pressure's on. He's trying to kite and avoid both Blizzo and Zipai at the same time, managing to recover, but now caught in a leg sweep by Looney. Still in a bit of trouble. Gets stunned on the Fist of Fury by Zipai. Well timed. Burst to follow it up. Ring of Peace protects Rezus for a few seconds. Looney now caught into a polymer. Blizzo in trouble. Once again, Yes Dave with the hard carry crowd control, potentially oh carrying no. the team to victory. And they get the kill one second away from Looney's life cocoon. Plot twist tie this series of gaming. It's all about control. Maru, Looney, they need to find Cyclones, Polymorphs, on to Numbliz to make sure they have enough crowd control to eventually take Yes Dave down. It's already outstanding that we have seen Plot Twist able to take a game away from Wildcard Gaming, but will they be able to be excellent here again on Hookpoint? All right, Plot Twist managing to put a point on the board, which that in itself is Ooh. a feat of strength against Wildcard Gaming. Looney gets caught. Ring of Peace to protect. Ring of Peace knocks Looney back into Rezus' clutches, but Yes Dave can't support him. He's peeled away by Maro. Great support by Maro on that initial attack. They still met, they go for the second leg sweep before the diminishing return. Surprise attack to try and catch Looney off guard. Is it going to be enough to push him over? Looney desperately trying to escape. Yes Dave now being counter pressured. Huge damage. Numb was denies, but still in crowd control. That life cocoon gets shredded. Yes, Dave in trouble if they can get another polymorph. They do, but they opt to Cyclone. Yes, Dave at low health. Looney then trying to capitalize and crowd control Numbliz. Ducking over for a bash into a Cyclone. This could easily be an ice block if Blizzo can connect. He rolls over. Yes, Dave gets counterspelled on the peel, but Numbliz is out of crowd control. He's leading the charge at the way of the crane, and it does appear to be the case that Plot Twist are going to go all in on Looney. However, in this match, I believe he has switched to the Guardian Affinity, removing that as an option, expecting that strategy due to the map selection on hook points. Looney adapts his talent build and denies that strategy and potentially opens up his team to find success here. Yeah, definitely. Yes, Dave in a little bit of trouble with a full Cyclone on a Numbliz. Numbliz actually off to play the relentless talent so all crowd control will be diminished but can't Huge. actually break out of any of it yes dave gets interrupted forced into an ice block he's gonna have one available in around 25 seconds once hypothermia debuff does fade off of the frost mage almost with life cocoon has a little bit of backup here for plot twist to keep yes dave alive but Wildcard Gaming, so far, they seem to be in the driver's seat. They catch Looney out of form, but they're going after Maru. Plotchus are trying to mix it up. They've now realized that Looney is not going to be an option due to that specialization change on his part. Instead, now having to go for a mage race. Fortunately, they're only one ice block behind, but they should have made this adaptation much sooner if they're going to find victory here against Wildcard Gaming as they are behind. Yes, Dave, once again, exchanging that temporal shield right when his healer gets crowd controlled. Unfortunately, not healing him for too much. Yes, Dave gets bursted. Blizzo stays on target. Numbliz and Rez is both locked out of the fight, able to sneak in a life. You can get Cycloned on it, and Looney's been able to really shine in this match, particularly with his Cyclone usage, showing that he is not only one of the best defensive healers in the game, but also fully capable of offense and crowd control as well. And that's going to prove to be deadly moving into the spring finals, most certainly. Yeah, Morrow getting bursted down just a little bit. And just to talk about Cyclone a little bit, that's one of the changes that came in. A couple of weeks ago, the Cyclone's mana cost was reduced, so we're seeing a lot of these Restoration Druids play more aggressive. In the past, it wasn't that great to use Cyclone just because it cost too much mana. Oh. That was such a precious resource. Yes, Dave, getting low. 
forced into the second ice block just a millisecond before the temporal shield was able to completely top him off. Not ideal for plot twist, but I think that was the right call from Yes Dave. Doesn't want to be playing out too greedy, but like I was saying, with the mana changes, Cyclone seems to be something that the Restoration Druids are prioritizing a lot more, especially in a setup like this with the Frost Mage. Huge setup on Morrow, but not even netting an ice block. Now Morrow has a significant lead over plot twist here as Wildcard Gaming look to advance to match point. Looney initiates the crowd control, continues the chain. Both Rezzers and Numbless cannot support Yes Dave. It's a three on one. Touch of Death has just gone off. Yes Dave takes a huge hit. Numbless still crowd controlled, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to try and take Yes Dave out. Yes Dave survives. Numbless avoids the interrupts and stabilizes, but mana is even. No advantage there. Now ice blocks are in favor of Wildcard Gaming. Looney looks to try and secure a mana lead by sitting down for a drink, but he could have to trade an ice block if he does it, so he's not going to risk that exchange, prioritizing defense over mana. Numbla is unable to find that opportunity on hook point. It's going to be so difficult for the healers to find a drink whatsoever. Yes, they've caught in a stun behind the pillar. Blizzo trying to set up the team for victory. Mara blinks in. He's intercepted between Numbla's and Yes, Dave. Numbla is able to just play it patiently at the pillar for Yes, Dave to blink around. Gets the life cocoon and stabilizes. The life cocoon is now out of the way. Any crowd control onto Numbla's and Yes, Dave could go down. Yeah, easily. Whereas for wildcard gaming, they still have every defensive cooldown rolling. Yes, Dave gets interrupted. You can see everyone is all over Yes Dave right now. He's doing a good job peeling. Rez is trying to create pressure on Amaro. Blizzo getting him low. Yes Dave could just fall and ultimately does. Wildcard Gaming will go up in the series two to one, but now the lower side of the bracket right here, right now, Blades Edge Arena. I still don't think that you can actually count Wildcard Gaming out on this composition. Nope. It's still very effective against a Mistweaver bringing in a mage and in the open field, it will be difficult for Rezus to kite. And Looney, once again, running that Feral Affinity will be adding a bit of extra damage to his team. Crowd Control already secured onto Numbliz and Infernion looks to deflect, dropping the Infernals. This is more of a precautionary Infernals to try and scare away his opponents. Wildcard Gaming are disrespecting that at the moment. But Punts Infernion off the side. He's not able to capitalize. He hasn't been able to ramp. He's got a Reign of Fire rolling to try and stack up the Supremacy, but he's running out of time to get a big Chaos Bolt off. Grounding Totem not available. Infernion knows he needs to get a Chaos Bolt off soon if he wants to benefit from that bonus damage. Goes for the Dark Soul. Baits an interrupt on the Fear. They don't fall for the bait. Now gets Polymorphed on the Chaos Bolt. They need to stop Infernion's Chaos Bolt for a few more seconds. Curious to see if he's able to go for it. Baits the interrupt on the Wind Shear with the Fear. Still not able to get a Chaos Bolt. Totally denied on his Infernals. Yeah, Numbla's down to a Polymorph, Infernion vulnerable. Not much mobility on that Destruction Warlock. If Marlon and Zipai can find the damage, they might be able to take him down. Unending Resolve trades out for Infernion. That major defensive cooldown. Three-minute timer on that. Won't have it available for quite some time, but opts to trade that out instead of Numbla's as Trinket. And now, actually, Plot Twist is not in the best situation. They do have some damage here on tomorrow, but if Marlon, Zipai, and Looney can continue the crowd control on Numbla's, I think they can definitely win this matchup. Yeah, I mean, Resus and Infernion have already used their hardest hitting cooldowns, which means the team of Wildcard Gaming can walk all over Numbliz. They do not need to respect that space whatsoever. They can move in and secure extended crowd control chains. Maro trying to follow up, gets stunned. Good denial by Resus. Numbliz needs to be ready. There's still a wind shear now available for one of his heals. He's going to be able to avoid it, stacking up with Infernion, trying to make it so that if they do attempt to go for crowd control, they can deny some area of effect damage. Maybe a Comet Storm potentially breaks up polymorph but now they get punted off the side by z -Pi, and bringing in the elemental shaman on the blades edge arena pick was definitely a smart decision from wildcard gaming they look to close here infernion with not much left at half health manages to deny the kill with a double mortal coil looney still running that feral affinity adding in a bit of extra damage to the team no crowd control found looney in a fear tremor totem breaks that looney looking for a cyclone gets denied by numbless numbless needs to avoid this cyclone as long as possible looney gets feared away again numbless actually decides to roll in, gets Frostnovan on it. He wanted to find a leg sweep, but Mara was able to time that. Ursul's Vortex then pulls Numbliz a little bit further away. Wave the crane. Maro is able to avoid it thanks to Looney's Cyclone. Infernia now in a three on two. Zipai right on top of him. Full polymorph. They have to make a decision quick. Numbliz decides to trade the Gladiator's Medallion and Life Cocoon to survive here. But that is a critical defensive cooldown that he will not have for another two minutes. Yeah, Looney's been doing such a good job with the Cyclones in this matchup. Really, and that's one of the benefits Wildcard Gaming has. You have Zipai casting, Maro casting, and Looney casting. It makes it difficult for Infernion to shut down all three members. And Looney is really capitalizing on that. You can see Cyclones on Infernion. Now a Cyclone on Numbliz. 
And Vernion getting low. Safeguard procs. That might be enough to keep him alive, but Numbers really doesn't have too much healing to keep him up. And Fernion holds on by a thread, but triple stun comes in. Revival in the nick of time. Can Numbers keep him alive? Finally connecting some heals, but another Cyclone connecting from Looney extends the crowd control chain. Looks for another. If they can get on top of Numbers, Morrow and Looney are right there. Numbers manages to transcend its way out of line of sight. And Fernion drops the Infernals, but he misses. Now he's Ooh. all alone, but he's trying to counter pressure. Gets a fear. Zipai breaks the fear. Numbliz gets counter spell, but he activated life cocoon before tanking that interrupt. Smart decision by Numbliz, removing the counter spell, safely able to avoid it. But Infernion's been out in the open for far too long. He's trying to find a chaos bolt. He's ramped up perfectly, but he just can't attack. Numbliz is locked out of the fight for too long. He drops the double mortal coil. Tries to set up Rezus to maybe kill Looney. Rezus is desperate at this point if he's trying to go after Looney. Manages to ring a piece. Infernion are into back in line of sight of. Infernion. Reza gets lightning lassoed by Z Pi, denies the kill on Looney during that leg sweep. Looney then jumps to safety. Looks like we are going to be battling out below the bridge potentially to end this one. Reza's with no Glider's medallion is exposed to a lightning lasso attempt and will need to be aware of that, but still pressure on Infernion. Yeah, Infernion caught in midfield, really nowhere to run and hide and avoid damage. If Zipai and Maro can keep teeing off on Infernion, he could ultimately fall. If we look at mana, things relatively even for both of these healers. None of them have really had to sneak away and drink just yet. Looney moving forward, looking for more crowd control. Full polymorph secured on Anumlis. Unfortunately, breaks. Now, uh, Looney. kill attempt onto Looney. Is there going to be any damage coming in from Infernion? Huge! Metal coil. Looney getting lower. What is he going to do? Bark skin safeguard does proc as well. He has the iron bark, but being able to kite away. Touch of death is used by Rezu. They're all over him. Take him down. Everything being traded out by Plot Twist, but Looney kiting away from Infernion. Not going to be taking any of that destruction warlock damage. He might be able to survive. His defense is starting to fall if he can't escape. z gets interrupted on his peel. Maro tries to support. Numbliss is not able to connect. Rezus is trying to solo Looney. He's trying to escape. Lightning Lasso buys the time. Looney stays in the fight. Now Rezus gets caught overextended. Barely exchanges Touch of Karma to stay alive. They could crack through that defense. Looks like they're going to play it patiently. Try and crowd control Numbliss instead, but he gets interrupted on it. Rezus really punishing Looney. They've got 16 seconds to try and take him out, but I don't think they're going to be able to stay on top of him. Infernion peeled away. Rezus with limited defense. Numbliss realizing that activates Life Cocoon. Just in the nick of time for Rezus to survive. Plot twist, switch targets to z -Pi. They're heavily behind on mana. They're heavily behind on cooldowns. Wild card gaming are looking solid to take this, but you cannot count plot twist out. Definitely not. Rezu's getting lower. Caught in a lightning lasso, trinketing out of that. Now no defense left for plot twist. Rezu's has to keep, start getting some heals. Finally, some big heals connecting from Numbliz, but I really want to see wild card gaming go after Infernion again. They need to get either get control on him or get more damage rolling because right now Infernion on that Destruction Warlock, he's been denied so far in the game, but if they leave him alone, he's going to be able to ring down havoc on the team of Wildcard Gaming and really set Plotswist up for victory. Numbliz in crowd control, Infernion getting bursted. Morrow looks for follow-up, gets denied. Numbliz out of crowd control, desperately trying to stabilize Infernion. Now Cyclone at low health. Looney's Cyclones have been immaculate in this entire series throughout, denying a recovery moment for Plot Twist. z -Pi gets bursted. Infernals have landed. Infernion ramps, gets the Cataclysm. Huge ramp for Infernion. He needs to get a Chaos Bolt, but Grounding Totem is available. Let's see if z -Pi can time that to deny Infernion's Chaos Bolt. Mortal Coil Chaos Bolt gets counterspelled. Good denial by Morrow. They need to slow down these Chaos Bolts for a few more seconds. Infernion pulls back. Trying to get back in the line of sight. Zipai knows they just need to avoid the situation. Looney is sitting down for a drink during Inferno. It's a bit of a bad manner situation for wildcard game. You don't typically get to just regenerate full mana while the enemy team activates their hardest hitting spells. Inferno tries to pull something out of it, but Mara already a temporal shield rolling, and the defense of wildcard gaming looks unbreakable. Definitely, and Looney with full mana, things are definitely in favor of wildcard gaming. This is plot to his map and compositional pick, but wildcard gaming showing that they are the number one team right now in the European scene. Tomorrow getting feared away. Chaos Bolt finally landing from Infernion, looking for some damage. Numbless potentially needs to sneak away for a drink, almost completely out of mana at this point in the game. How much longer can Plot Twist stay alive? Sid, who do you think is their opening in this matchup? I mean, at this point, it's do or die, I think, on Looney. 
Who else are you going to kill? There's Glyre's Medallion, Astral Shift 2, Ice Blocks. It's basically every defensive cooldown for Wildcard Gaming. They don't have time to get through that. They just need an all-in swing. Hope that Wildcard Gaming underreacts and they can burst somebody down. They're on the ropes here. They're on match point and likely to get knocked down to the lower bracket. Plot Twist need at least a third place finish if they want to qualify for that fourth spot. But Wildcard Gaming are looking like they're going to swipe it away. Huge damage. Cyclone at low health. Denies the way of the crane hit. They need to deny it a bit longer. They cyclone him again on it. Perfect timing. Polymorph follow-up. Wildcard Gaming are unstoppable. Oh man, that that was a brutal victory for Wildcard Gaming. They're gonna be able to close that one out. Imagine being a warlock and you're sitting there and you go, I got damage. I got all the damage in the world. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pump right now. Feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.